exploring consciousness in the way that it appears as what we have named as brain waves. So I'll kind of jump into that kind of sense. To begin with, again at the foundational level, all there is is consciousness, that which we are. Um, that which we are at our pure level, just put it in words that way, is without any nature. Right? There's nothing to it. All that can ever be pointed at, spoken about, experienced or expressed is only at the level of manifest consciousness, which is mind. And uh, that's what we are. So that's why everything that is mind is pure experiencing. That which we are experiencing infinite states, infinite dreams, infinite realities, infinite stories, infinite ideas, infinite emotions, energy in motion, infinite ways of vibrating, that is infinite ways of perceiving, experiencing, expressing, and that's why infinite levels of awareness at the level of existence, right? Mind is existence. and. Um, no matter what we look at, what we explore, we're only exploring ourselves. And this is one of the foundational tenets for any of us who may be called uh, to, when when called, to name ourselves as something, as consciousness explorers. This is one of the foundational tenets. There's a difference when we are identified that's a valid play for consciousness to be playing from a sense of exploring as if to get to a destination. That is why most important is not so much what we do or appear to do. It is the identity with through and as which we are stepping in that determines experience of the self and reality. Self and reality are one and the same. The only experience of that that is living, all there is to mind is living, mind is living, is based on the identity that there is. Right? And exploration then becomes this, because we are the destination, there's nowhere to come, there's nowhere to go, although it appears, validly appears that way. that's part of the play we are here for. So when we are already consciousness, that's why, you know, as a foundational tenet, I really like to, that's the start of the core really because when you do this then uh, that this was in, in my experience as well right like that's it's then you're open if everything is me then there is nothing to really turn away from or turn even towards okay? that's what we're time and spaceless in that sense and that makes the experience of this, whether it's transformation, looking at our emotions, what we may be going through at the level of experience, because no experience is innately me. It's simply that I taste through mind and whatever that is appearing to happen, right? all of that then is held in the right context. And this allows for us to have higher perception and a way of clarity, which is like a subtle sensing to sense beyond what is dancing on the facade of the five senses and the five sensory world, which is the Kali Yuga and the yeah. So this is always an inspired uh, sharing of that exploration. And in this video, we're gonna jump into it by exploring how we dance as what we call as brain waves, how we experience that is vritti as vibration and um, it's measured in hertz and we'll begin there are five and we'll begin with four each one very exciting that little kind of another perspective of looking at consciousness and how we experience ourselves based on um, the predominant brain wave we are vibrating as one way of exploring so let's begin with the most familiar always which is <laughs> the beta brain wave now this brain wave, when consciousness, now let's sense consciousness, always know that at the level of mind, anything we say about consciousness, any words that may come in the field are ultimately inaccurate. Right? I'm just painting pictures of something which is pictureless. 
right? Images and using words for something that that cannot be worded. To keep that always in mind, because some questions come through like that. So just to kind of hold it loosely, and of course, because we are consciousness, we are already it. We can sense it. Okay? It's responding to the questions that come forth and hold, and that is the nature of the three three D mind. Uh, which is the beta when when consciousness is predominantly playing and dancing as the beta waves itself that is where the identity is consciousness is beautifully tasting what it means to taste the emotions and the experience of of the separate self kali yuga dwapar yuga state of mind um naturally right that state of mind which we actually have labeled as conscious naturally because that's all we are conscious of at that point right but it's the least conscious from the perspective of our truest identity as consciousness it's the least, one of the least conscious um uh, senses our five sensory system but saying that is is this uh five senses that we are dancing at right, that we are very very familiar with this is the separate self this is the separate self as long as consciousness is vibrating predominantly at at this point when we say right that's the level of awareness that is the nature we experience right experience and awareness ultimately are interrelated shiva shakti that is why the shiva that we actually call is the shiva tattva that's why we call it as purusha shakti is prakriti nature right that which the level of awareness is is what will determine nature that is the identity very key to keep in mind so when consciousness that which we are um is vibrating as the beta waves right that means what is it we are identified at the level of the body its five senses and that personal intellectual mind right that's 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 why self is reality that's what we're experiencing ourselves as the more and more we are thinking personally thinking and using five senses to understand the life that which we are this is very very key we keep ourselves vibrating at that state of consciousness that is why the state of consciousness that is the problem that sees naturally the problem perception is not apart from identity the one who perceives the problem is not only the creator but the living of the problem it's the state of consciousness this is consciousness that which we are simply experiencing itself i'm having a problem <laughs> that's what it is that's what we do uh, because otherwise as consciousness how will we know what it means to taste having a problem in our life so this as the personal mind when consciousness is this thing that's why the more and more we think using worrying thinking using the intellect trying to solve a problem it never solves this we know because that which we are our higher more evolved state is the solution that which the five senses sees and what is the nature of these five senses it's the separate self the body me looking outwards at the world and that means my level of perception interpretation if i think it's a world of matter something is happening out there that is more powerful more bigger than me this thing that dynamic starts to play there's much there i'm not going to go in there and sharing in previous videos if this is one of your first videos watch those but kind of get the dynamics right so if we are going to use try to insist and understand from our limited perception it's going to keep us in a mode because we are recreating that vibration okay? again all is the divine self which is consciousness itself so it's how consciousness is experiencing itself by even worrying no big deal that's why i said once you know your consciousness and you truly see the phenomena of what is happening just absolute revelation unraveling you really see that there is no good there is no right as in a concept there is no um wrong there is no you know all, all of those things just absolutely dissolve 
you really see it's simply phenomena being is the cause that's all there is the state of being experiences the effect that it's it's its own cause and experiences it as if it's an effect whether it's from outside that's the five senses world body mind play we only experience our own self in that sense whatever we define that self to be in any moment self is reality yeah so when we are in the beta waves that is one we very very familiar with right naturally at that level of awareness when we are vibrating as that that is what we are going to do and that is how consciousness experiences itself very important we'll come back to this the one which is a little more expansive than this a little more where consciousness is not vibrating so much at denser level is alpha brain waves i'm going to come back to alpha a little bit i'm going to jump to theta first and then share about alpha theta is even more right and if we look at i'm going to also connect it to dots because everything is the same phenomenon and i'm going to put a picture as well of the map that that uh, has that comes through right channeling which that's how i've put together where i'm adding and editing it as these things come in and get add down so i've added brain waves this time to it um but if you really look at look at that you'll really see this beta waves when we are primarily there is the kali yuga dwapara yuga state of mind one way to look at it everything is relative so hold it loosely it's also like the tamasic we say tamas kind of where it is uh, predominant right and it is the 3d play so kind of to get an idea about this now we'll move not we'll come back to alpha we'll move to theta the theta brain wave right the theta brain wave is what we would really call as steeped in the subconscious the subtle body so if i have to pick even bodies in this the beta wave is the stula sharira that is the gross body when consciousness is vibrating as as the beta waves we experience ourselves as the gross body and that is why our experience of our world reality as well is gross level that means it's at the level of matter right we believe matter is primary and that's the way everything is done that's why we believe there is a world outside there there is this space within which things are floating that is why we believe in concepts right there is somebody out there and they are like that as if out of awareness we don't meet things fresh we like that 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 whole phenomena that we are very familiar with okay so now when we are in subconscious that is the sukshma sharira the gross body is the stula sharira this is the sukshma sharira that means it's the subtle body it's the subconscious this is the more this is this is also called as the soul body when we awaken to our soul self you know we really experience this so this in one way we can sense as 4d you know this we can sense as 4d paradigm this is the awakening this is the actually shift so this is now the tritya yuga our third eye is open we really can see deeper and this is very very key you know this is inspiration for this video also is coming through really to really that's why i say that that when we are identified as only what our five senses sees and you know at the end of the day it's simply phenomena if we are there naturally that's all we have to our you know to facilitate us to make any meaning right every state of mind will make meaning naturally nobody else is doing it it's consciousness based on where it is we are right now in the age of aquarius and this is the 4d 5d paradigm right in the sense that fluid that is why there are so many of us awakening like they say you know the the sophia christ consciousness is is not appearing in one body it is appearing as all of us awakening right and each of us is awakening so uniquely holding this intuitively seeing this we'll each have a unique flavor we'll be speaking about the same thing that which we are but it will be uniquely expressing that you know or living that right expression is just a follow up of that but it's living of that so that's that's the subtle body sukshma uh, this thing and this is the theta okay and um, delta is the unconscious right that is that is when we experience our that is our truest nature that's why we call it as unknown the one mind is actually the dark mind our true light 
the paradox of this is our true light a truer light is actually dark light Theta is the Treta Yuga, the awakened, which is the subtle body, subconscious self. And that's why the Theta subconscious self, that's what you can see, is more open completely, right? softer. It's, it's like a thin, I'm appearing as a body, but my inner state is absolutely open. And that's why I name it as the 4D fire, 5D. Right? What I mean by that is that that which I am is non-dual, right, as consciousness. Right? And that can be experienced as the five, fifth dimension. The, the thing with this is, the minute we are completely consciousness is vibrating completely as 5D, body won't even appear. We cannot be. Consciousness cannot appear into matter. Matter, to experience itself as matter, there is a range. It has to vibrate within that range. Right? So to be completely non-dual or whatever that 5D state, completely the body will disappear. So if you have to appear at the level of Treta and Sati Yuga, what we call as, right, which is the Delta and then the Theta. It's right. Theta is the subconscious and then the Delta is the unconscious. That is why we call it as a deep sleep state, which is the unknown state. Right? That's the 5D. Right? So this is the, the Theta is the 4D state, one can say. So it's the 4D and 5D state. That is the awakened state. That's why I always put it as Theta and Sati Yuga state. Right? That, that's that's that awakened state in that sense. So, theta state is the subconscious, right? But the veil is now completely open. I want to share something so fascinating here because, you know, as children, we are when consciousness starts to vibrate and is born, experiencing itself as a child. From but from when we are born till about. Um, seven years okay seven years of age we are children and we are in that theta state yeah theta state but if we sense of this 4d 5d state right the delta and the theta state the way that it is set up i want to just almost offer the symbol that is coming through is like a like a mirror that is colored on up opaque on one side when consciousness comes in the theta state is open subconscious is still open but the knowing that I am consciousness gets blocked off. So it's like it's like the mirror now is open to taking in the world because that's what we've come here for. To get conditioned from the Kali Yuga, Dvapra Yuga. That's why the five senses are facing outwards towards the world. Right? So even though we come as the, this thing, we are, we are open. Have you seen children? Oh my God. I mean like that. They come here, they know who they are, they are like down there to play, like <laughs> tell them, you know, in that sense, because they don't have that. But that is needed because that, that they've come here like open sponges, right? So they're sensing their five senses and living in and taking in life and everything. And that's why as consciousness, we come in, there's no coming in, right? You know, that's just simply vibration. There's no time space, but at the level of linear time space, I'm just exp uh, kind of sensing that and that saying the story like imagine coming to it as a child and you're there five senses and you're just like a sponge taking in right and as consciousness we have we really precipitate ourselves to put it in linear time space in a way that perfect in that environment right so we take in the conditions the colored waters of our environment Right? of our family, whether it was said or not, our the, the, the communities that we have lived in, the culture that we come from, the land, all of that, right? We become full with the world right? and including the world at large. All those experiences, we become saturated. Right? As children, we come in like empty, this thing. And I really want to name something here. Nothing is going wrong. This is a conscious choice as consciousness. Right? It's we, Consciousness is conscious right it comes in forgetting itself so that it can experience this living of these flavors see as consciousness we that's why it's very important to know that 
as consciousness every state is equanimous every state and therefore every emotion ultimately is equanimous because that is what i am simply determined by the vibration and then at the relative level we can play right then then we can really face what that has to be face what has to be you know whatever there is there is but ultimately at the level of consciousness that's why everything is equanimous right? you come here to taste that you've come here wherever we find ourselves this is the knowing lived experience and this is actually the because we are in the kshinaina route like like the tail end the deep deep feminine phase this is this is the acceptance that cannot even be named to so stand as consciousness is that that cell level acceptance because the, the, even the concept of acceptance dissolves what is there to accept if you're not resisting right that was play of the kali yuga and dwapar yuga state of mind you see that you see that i chose consciousness i chose to be here at this time wow what am i here for what am i here as even more than for or off or in time and space i am vibrating as time and space right so that becomes the play You can kind of really sense into that, right? I get so excited. I know where I was. <laughs> okay, coming back to this, so theta, right? The theta. So, so as children, right? So children, we absorb everything, right? So beautifully, we take everything in. But because there is forgetfulness, like if you look at the mirror, one side of what we truly are, we do not remember. So then, of course, this is where we came here to play. So that's why we start remembering. Okay, grow up, reality. play as adults you know like like this is the world so we start living as the world right and we live as the world and now suddenly everything is passed through only through the five senses part of the play only when we are completely soaked and steeped in the colors of the world does the seeking begin that is when consciousness is done you know she says okay i'm done i'm done tasting all the flavors right so it's automatic phenomena and when you're done tasting this thing that's when the seeking phase kind of begins what we would call as the seeking phase which is consciousness that which you seek is seeking you seeking you as in see who you are right so that the dissolving of it it's waking up from that personal you and we are awakening as soul so the theta which is the theta state of the subconscious subtle body sukshma sharira 4d is the state of soul living the soul that was living as a person right and that's why it's all opposite all opposite right we say like the soul is living within you it's not within you the person is living within the soul the soul is experiencing itself consciousness vibrating denser experiencing itself as a person when the vibrations loosen up a little bit right and that's why we say for the dwapar yuga kali yuga state of mind don't try to figure things out from the worrying mind you you even more be experiencing that right if you actually let go relax in that sense be more open than be reactive that you'll really start to sense deeper that even cannot be named in words you'll start seeing that is holding a higher higher perception okay so this is the i just wanted to share about the theta state now the funny part about it is children the difference between the theta state brain wave for children and for the awakened state are are two different theta states which is the theta state of children is where we have forgotten who we are as consciousness but when we live the world of the kali yuga dwapar yuga and we come back to the awakened state which is awakening from alpha and then theta and then delta right we realize we are the unknown i am consciousness 
you know that is experiencing myself now this theta state is not unconscious it's very aware of that which it is right so there is no blocking it's it's completely open in that it's one way to look at it the door is open knowing that the door never existed to begin with it only appears to for the one who plays as the person that is why the beta thing is the play of the door really it is its own obstacle that that stops it because it's living as the conditions and the ideas facing outwards as the five senses so coming back theta so see as consciousness now if you take an image and we say consciousness is the stream a single stream that never can be fragmented it's one thing but only vibrating allows it to experience this vibration is nothing mind is vibration so as states of vibration it experiences itself as the illusion right and that's why illusion and reality are the same thing if you stand as consciousness you'll say it's an illusion you can see it that's what was meant not to negate the reality of what the state of mind is experiencing and as a state when we are vibrating in that state oh my god that, that state is self expressing self when we're vibrating as that naturally because we are so brilliant we are so brilliant then you is that is that we've created this play or we're living this play experiencing this play in such a way that it has to feel real to us otherwise it's not it's not we won't experience it that's right so that that's why it's reality feels as reality so when we are in it of course it feels so real and feels so true so that's why the invitation to see this as phenomena really you know see it as phenomena just unravels everything so coming back to theta so theta is the open open subconscious state now Right, that that that's the so we can even look at the subconscious as that state of what we call as imagination and now i'll jump into alpha so we spoke about beta and then there is alpha and then there is theta right so we jump to theta to get subconscious and then the beta is the what we call as the conscious known mind alpha is in the middle and alpha is really that state of which is like a bridge which is like a bridge so it that state does not exist when 
we are vibrating completely as the kali yuga dwapar yuga especially at the densest level because consciousness is so we are so absorbed in our play as the five senses that is why if you really look at you know i gone for this uh, vipassana thing and that's where i noticed it i don't know about the other teachings but in that i noticed where really buddha does not at that level at least where i have experienced it does not really speak about imagination does not speak anything because he's in particularly speaking to the consciousness that is deep in kali yuga state of mind that is experiencing suffering so mind will define itself based on where it is naturally right mind is brilliance mind is everything mind is pure like mind is divinity mind is but when we are vibrating as the kali yuga dwapar yuga you will hear these terms like mind is suffering don't be in that mind meaning that state of mind okay right? so at that point in in that he only speaks that's why to the five senses and says equanimity don't react to anything right and asks that we come into the body and move through the body because through that itself that opening will happen hmm? so these are the states so that bridge is not there when we are really deeply in the 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 consciousness is vibrating as the brain wave of beta that that there is a disconnection which is an illusion of course between the theta and the delta states right only when it sleeps right that that it it gets respite otherwise it's always hyper vigilant hyper active right looking outwards come back to the beta thing because something else that's just coming through i'd share about that because relevant for these times but i'll speak about alpha alpha is the bridge right to theta now that's theta i want to also share alpha can be actually seen as the subconscious itself right if you are as a known mind but it is that um what we call as the visualization and imagination when we invite ourselves right to step away from that active being in the world and taking it information we say relax a little bit visualize what is possible right who is visualizing the personal mind itself so the personal mind is still there but we are kind of inviting it to open up a little bit this can be beautifully done through stories that is how our ancient cultures that's why stories so powerful this can be done through art through creative this thing 
right allowing that's why stories are so important because they really allow for this mind otherwise that is stuck in reality oh my god is this what reality is right there's no possibility and goes into this overdrive that's why the beta is all about this when you feel that frantic thing right that that kind of you can feel that energy right where it's like just absolutely gets panicky or gets this thing and is reactive to the world feels it needs to do something feels drained you know you know that's it. so it's 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 that right so that's when we invite through story we open it up to possibilities we open it up through creative through painting through singing through music oh, music right all of that dancing moving our body that releases these stuck energies right of ideas all of that all related then through that like we come into that we kind of come into that alpha state so alpha state the reason it's a bridge and i say that that if theta can be seen as a deeper knowing of subconscious it's a knowing like children know their consciousness you know it's not a concept they carry in their head it's a it's a knowing see true knowing ah uh, <laughs> that's why see many of the times you'll really see people who will not even speak about spirituality okay but they're living it they're living it that is true knowing because they're living at the subtle body as subconscious itself yeah they just know they know <laughs> they can see already so that is the theta state they're primarily vibrating at the theta brain wave level so alpha is when that bridge is there that means there is part this personal mind is still active right the surrender is not there completely and at the same time the possibility is linked to this subconscious so it creates this powerful bridge that's why the alpha brain wave is can be sensed as very powerful for the known mind because it will come into alpha state and then sense into that possibility and that becomes the doorway to deepen into theta states as subconscious right so in the alpha state really we invite okay visualize right or imagine and eventually there comes a point right because you are making the shift so the advanced dwapar yuga state we can really see can be seen as the alpha state you will see the advanced dwapar yuga self empowerment it's a it's a higher self empowerment tool one may look at to activate alpha states activate these alpha states the door starts opening to theta 
right so you start so what happens is first first we invite ourselves or whatever as the alpha state to visualize or to open or use this or hypnosis whatever all of that you do and then when that door opens how we deepen into theta which is the paradigm shift is that awakening happens and then you start seeing seeing visions you are not the one visualizing right this is so fascinating to see because in the beta brain waves when we are identified as a personal self even if we call a personal self okay visualize that's a way to call, invite them into the alpha state right open imagine everything is possible for you what would you like right that's the question what would you like what will the beta states say right when we are identified as the person which is conditioned with the world naturally our even our highest possibility for our world will only come from that every state of mind has its playground boundary but the visualization cannot go past me past our visualization cannot go past our identity period it is within the playground that is why the nature to see the kshetra that i am dancing as who is the i that is what we need to kind of really that's the direct path you see the i all the other concepts everything is gone that's it that's all it is <laughs> that's every video to point to that even at this end of this video just drop all these concepts if you really got it to know that that you are the conceptless that's the invitation so that is the better way so the alpha once we start deepening into it you will see the theta opens up okay so now from kali yuga dwapar yuga suddenly the depth of the subconscious that subtle body state which is open to the delta there is no difference there between the delta brain wave and the this thing in that sense is the state of that image is suddenly that theta state and delta become one 4d 5d okay that that become one and that is why i want to tell you one more thing we are there and that is why watch out because you're going to see in the world a burst of creativity unlike ever before through you through others in the world i mean i'm telling you to say that we are right now in the most exciting times is to put it light, lightly because there are no words to put an awakened world um uh, we are creating a new world we are not fixing the old world we are not fixing the old world that's not how it works because we are focused anything you fix upon you create it because it's your awareness that is giving it nothing can live outside of consciousness there is nothing outside of consciousness so we are as the awakened mind is you're creating the world literally what 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 one would put it as is inside out
you cannot express or experience or do anything outside of state of being state of being is everything all doing appears from state of being a doing is a reflection of the state of being okay? so the doing automatically happens the state of being from which it is happening state of consciousness that is what consciousness is this coming from is the key that's to see and when we stand empty that is the nature of the true all encompassing consciousness that which we are that allows naturally for the vibrations to loosen and we experience that yeah? so it's not through efforting through doing as the dwapar yuga state mind thing it is actually by going back right without jumping to make and that's that's meeting life fresh where it is because the meaning making that that dwapar yuga kali yuga state of mind will do will be very different and the one that's why the invitation to observe to observe and also on the chart I'll show you that's why this is where pranayama and meditation really play a big role and that's been in my life as well and if you're interested I'll put the link down there you can come that's what we're doing right now in our classes although I still call I call it pranayama it's much more than that but those are the bridges right that's the bridge that that that's how we we kind of awaken experientially to that which we are already the meditation is our true nature so theta and then alpha so the alpha is that is that bridge and then there is theta and then there is delta so you can see this is how it is okay so these are the four states that you can really get to know right So now we will jump into the fifth brain wave which really is or can be really sensed as the super brain wave it is a super synchronizing brain wave it pretty much brings together bridges all these different states which is the delta the theta the alpha and the beta and this is the gamma brain wave this is the flow state many a times when we are exploring right and especially in the field of spirituality we really may ask the question how much do i need to meditate how much do i need like you know that's the that's that's how the fragmented sense of the separate self right identity is everything so that's how the separate self lives right everything is one one consciousness but when we are identified as the separate self we experience that way right and that's that's why i often share which is like we separate everything by saying okay now parenting what do i need to do career what do i need to do health what do i need to do you know all of that these are not different things all is the one consciousness it is dependent on the identity right so now if you have to work at the subtle subtler levels this is where the work of prana that is breath this is the work where especially even through breath and ways of being we can really move into this gamma state When 
we are in the gamma brain wave we are pretty much in the flow state we are unfragmented but there is no difference between being and doing it's one and the same it is and this is truly the living and the lived experience and living of it to see that there is no difference between being and doing like how we, we you know experience at the level of um dwapara yuga kali yuga state right we see that we are a separate being and therefore we ask the question what do i do what is the true answer right as if it lies outside of me you can't just really sense in that so in that context really the gamma brain wave is the super brain wave and because it synchronizes this fragmentation and pretty much that is bringing us into the now so what is the gamma brain wave it is living in the present now it is knowing that i am is all there is and i am is consciousness i am is everything the whole thing that whatever is in awareness is that which i am not just the body absolute synchronization bringing it together right that allows us to play even while in this body it's just fascinating to experience this and the nature and the nature of living this gamma brain wave state how do we like naturally right the upper ego is going to ask oh my god how do i activate this then we just activate this by living inspiration to be and do what we love in every now moment in every given moment we do what we love we move as that whatever that may appear to look as <laughs> 